these uh, some of these smaller pieces are what I do with most of the time in my life. Um, the horses are a very different type of project, but my my existence and my general work is living in the bush with uh, with animals, and I work from life. Uh, the paintings on the wall that you can see is uh, work of my partner Susan Stolberger, and all of these small bronzes come about from my work living in the bush and my life. What, uh, what's become interesting over the period is that uh, uh, although one makes the horses and very involved for the seven and a half years that it took, uh, one never imagined at the time quite what it means to the people of the area and how it's become a centre point uh, for Las Colinas and therefore has, I think has become a, a cohesive point amongst people in the area and the more the city has developed uh, the more that cohesion seems to have spread amongst people and it is a I suppose one could use the word icon of Las Colinas but uh, it is it's become Las Colinas. A little model here uh, I made here in the service centre uh, when we brought the big horses over, uh, Ben wanted to have some small horses made just to display here in the museum. What was interesting, and I think probably one of the only times it's ever happened that I know of, is that um, when I first got involved with Ben Carpenter, he bought some of my smaller pieces during trips to Africa on hunting trips. And, uh, and then one day he asked me about making these horses. And he, at that time, this area was his ranch. Uh, there was very little here, there was a lot of open country and I suppose what you call prairie. And uh, I went ahead and, and made a sketch model which he came to see. And when he'd seen that, he then brought the architect who designed the plaza and the buildings, uh, a guy called Jim Reeves, who Paul Man's dead now, but he, uh, he was flown to Nairobi to my studio in Kenya by Ben Carpenter for one night. Uh, all the way from here to, to come and look at my model that I've made. And uh, he stood there and said to Ben, to Jim Reeves, uh, Reeves, there the horses, now you've designed the buildings and the plants around them. And so that's how it started. Uh, in my initial design, I thought I would make the plaza area uh, sort of landscape with rocks and so on, and the river, which I originally designed anyway. Um, but then Jim Reeves, was absolutely right when he suggested we should make the whole thing abstract with trees around the edges, but make the, the, the plaza and the building all one, one color, uh, one type of pink Texas granite. And so it would keep it clean and then show the horses much more. And he was absolutely right. And I hope it impresses the young people is, uh, is the important thing. Little kids come with their parents and they're standing there looking at these huge things with a bit of water splashing around them. And I think that makes an impression, uh, no matter what age they are, of uh, these big things that they're looking at. They have no idea how they were made. Um, they can actually come and see how they were made in the museum, which is right where we are right now, next to the horses, and watch a film about how the horses were made. Um, and I think uh, while m many kids might come and look and go home and that's eat, uh, having eaten a sandwich while they walk around the horses, which is fine. But uh, in every gang of children that come, maybe there's one there that's uh, impressed slightly differently to the others. And it may lead one day to that child uh, becoming an artist or becoming involved in even in horses or whatever. But I think it impresses kids in the most amazing way and hits on passions in them that we perhaps don't understand.